Chapter 1 The Imperialism A. Geographical Discoveries and Imperialism The Background The American War of Independence, French Revolution and Industrial Revolution have significantly changed modern history of the world. The Industrial Revolution was a significant development during the 18th century. The world came under the impact of the Industrial Revolution. The imperialism in the modern period was a result of this revolution. In the olden times, the kings used to have the ambition of dominating the neighboring or distant regions. This royal ambition gave rise to the Greek, the Roman and the Turkish empires. In India, there were powerful empires established by Chandragupta Maurya, King Ashok and Emperor Akbar. The source of inspiration of the traditional imperialism consisted in the regional pride and display of the army. In the beginning, the kings and emperors would give less importance to the acquisition of wealth and the financial profits while expanding their territories. However, in the modern times, the concept of imperialism changed. Geographical Discoveries In the year 1453, Constantinople, Istanbul was conquered by the Ottoman Turks. The terrestrial way, the short route to Asia, was closed down for the European traders as there had been an increase in the business in Europe and with the short route being under the control of the Turks, the Europeans felt the need for finding out a new sea route. The traders in Europe were curious to begin trade in the eastern nations. Henry, the king of Portugal, motivated the navigators. The navigators were inspired by kings and business persons of Europe to discover new sea routes. As a result, the courageous sailors undertook the task of finding out the sea routes. The sailors' compass, astrolabe, newly designed maps and travelogue were quite useful in sailing. On the assumption of Copernicus, the earth is not flat but round, the navigators discovered unknown regions in the world. Christopher Columbus, John Cabot, Amerigo Vespasi were the sailors who discovered the northern, eastern and central parts of the American continent respectively in the 15th century. Between 1606 and 1732, England set up 13 colonies in the eastern coast of North America. Vasco de Gama found out the sea route to India. Ferdinand Magellan, the Portuguese sailor who circumnavigated the earth first, but he was killed during his voyage. Nevertheless, his companions completed the dream project of Magellan. Spain, Portugal, Holland, England and France set up colonies in the newly discovered regions through the adventurous sailing. There began a cutthroat competition among the European nations for dominating the newly discovered regions of the world. England was in a leading position in this process. The Imperialism Imperialism was caused by the colonialism one country's people dominating the other country's specific territories and settling down their means colonization. After colonization, they established their economical and military power and extended their territories. The European nations imposed their imperial reigns on the Asian and African nations. Definition of Imperialism 
It is important to see what imperialism means while understanding this concept. The word imperialism has been derived from imperium, a Latin word. The meaning of the word imperium is rights or rule. Imperialism can be defined as domination of an undeveloped nation by a developed nation by virtue of establishing a colony. In other words, imperialism consists in an absolute domination of one nation by another nation. Imperialism sprouted from colonialism. Various forms of imperial domination. In order to achieve the imperial objectives, the European nations brought in dominion over the Asian and African continents by different ways. It consisted in imposing political dependence, ensuring security to nations, by bringing compulsory business agreements, creating business monopoly, and, if possible, implementation of divide and rule policy. The attempts of propagating the Christian religion in the wake of imperial expansion were underlined by the imposition of the imperial culture on the nations of Asia and Africa. The economic imperialism got further extended after the Industrial Revolution. It consisted in capturing the colonies for the raw materials and selling them in the form of commodities in the colonial markets, taking possession of the places with military importance, exploiting the colonies economically, improving the financial condition of the imperial nations themselves, imposing restrictions on the colonies and securing concession for the nations. The Economic Imperialism First, the objective of the new imperialism was to bring profits to the nation by exploiting the natural resources of the undeveloped nations by means of economic and political domination. This form of imperialism was called economic imperialism. Second, economic imperialism also means the economic domination of one nation by another. In 18th century, England is called the origin of industrial revolution because it was the nation which first witnessed the process of industrial revolution. England was followed by the other European nations. The industrial upheaval gave rise to capitalism. These nations had financial prosperity due to the business companies. The exchequer of England flourished. The foundation of European capitalist economic system was laid down. It was based on the production and exchange of the products. The capitalist expansion molded a new variety of imperialism. The European nations endured the principle of imperial expansion for the sake of developing trade. It means economy was the soul of imperialism. In 19th century, imperialism was creating the political, religious and racial domination through the economic dominance. Reasons for imperialism The European nations changed due to the Renaissance movement developing a crave for modern imperialism. By 1914, this craving brought the entire Asian and African regions under the imperial rule. There have been several reasons cited for the imperialism, which got underway in the 17th century. First, Scientific Inventions Life had gained momentum on account of the extraordinary inventions brought by the scientists right from John Kay up to Wright Brothers. The inventions of steam power, electricity, coal and iron revolutionized 
the means of transportation and communication. Science motivated the creation of modern weapons. It also woke up the tremendous ambition in human beings. Consequently, there grew imperialism in many nations. Second, Industrial Revolution To a great extent, Industrial Revolution boosted the modern imperialism. Production increased due to machines. The pace of production of goods went up. As a consequence, it became difficult for the nations to sell the products within their national boundaries. Hence, they felt an urgent need of finding out new markets. Third, need of raw material. The Industrial Revolution increased the production. There was a scarcity of the raw materials. There also started a kind of rat race among the European nations for selling the domestic products. It meant if a nation wanted to stay in the ongoing competition, it had to sell its products at cheaper prices. This could only be achieved by cutting down the production expenditure and purchasing the raw material cheaply. Colonies thus became the only source of getting the raw materials. Hence, the European nations turned their imperial attention towards Asia and Africa. Fourth, Prosperity of Asia and Africa The nations in Asian and African continents were very rich in natural resources. There were a huge deposits of gold, silver, diamonds, iron and coal in Africa. Whereas the Asian nations were rich in the production of spices, with a view to take advantage of these natural resources for their profit, the European nations brought the nations of Asia and Africa under their imperial rule. Fifth, Rise of New European Nations With the unification of their divided regions, the nations like Germany and Italy expanded. Inspired by England's imperial power, Germany and Italy began acquiring colonies by adopting policy of aggressive nationalism. This imperial struggle of Germany and Italy created an international conflicting situation. Thus, the rising nations in the European continent gave a stimulus to imperialism. Sixth, Ambition of political domination There was a need of security arrangements for the imperial nations to win and maintain colonies. Eventually, the European nations got involved in a tussle of winning terrestrial and marine military posts of strategic importance. Some of these nations had been trying to expand their imperial rule for national pride and fame. The greatness of a nation would be decided by the number of colonies under their control. This imperial expansion created a sense of suspicion among the European nations. The attempts of colonization increased and the nations began to strengthen their security. Seventh, Propagation of Religion the European nations were bent upon spreading Christianity throughout the world. They believed that the white man's religion and culture were superior. The British arrived in India with a pair of scales, that is, balance and a copy of the Bible. Bible for religion and scale for trade. The Bible stood for the propagation of Christian religion. Establishment of the colonies was followed by the entry of Christian missionaries for the purpose of spreading Christianity. Several missions were established with a sole religious purpose. This intensified imperialism. 
8. Weakness of Asian and African Nations Although the nations belonging to the African and Asian continents were comparatively vast during the period of modern imperial development, they were weaker from political and economic point of view. They were affected by invasions and feudalism. A great damage was done to the agriculture and business of these nations. The societies too were divided by religions, cults, languages, etc. The European nations, being scientifically stronger, took full advantage of the limitations of these nations in African and Asian continents and brought them under their imperial reign.